what we've done with this, this is a 20 year old field of native big blue stem. We planted into it some cool season rye, foul manna grass, wedge grass, and cluster fescue. And we've been grazing it. And I just wanna kinda of show you how good of a resource this is for the nesting period of quail and turkeys and other grassland birds. The growth you see here was we, when we let it rest from last year, we pulled out of this field a little bit early in August. And so it actually seed headed out a little bit on the Indian, a little bit of big blue. And we got quite a bit of duff left over a little uh, above the ground. We've been in here since grazing three times over the winter. Uh, the last graze we pulled out here two weeks ago about mid-April. So we're here at the end of April, first part of May. And anyways, it's time for grassland birds to be nesting. And even though we've grazed this quite a few times, you can see a lot of green growth around me. But what I want to focus on today is this stockpile of brown that we did not consume. They ate some of it. They walked around some of it. They've got their trails set up in crisscross patterns through this field as they went about their grazing. And why this makes so good of a habitat for nesting birds there are literally thousands of these little islands of grass out here. And what your turkey will do, or your quail, is they're going to back right up underneath some of this big blue stem, and they're going to have their nest in here. And the cattle don't even want to walk there. They've been walking here. they got no reason to walk there. And old Mr. Coyote, he's got to figure out which clump of grass that bird has its nest by in order to find its eggs. So he spends his day just trotting around in here looking. There's mice out here, there's rabbits out here. There's a lot of stuff going on out here for him to eat. But the chances of him finding those nests are low just because of the abundance of these clumps and that nest could be by any of these clumps out here. So it's 20 acres of mostly prime nesting habitat. There's a creek down here along the bottom side. And if they try to nest there, probably the coons and possums are going to get them cleaned up. But on out here in the field, they got a reasonably good chance. And the other thing, like say we took the cows out of here about two weeks ago, it's regrowing back quite nice. So the cover is getting higher and higher every day. So it's not just the brown cover they currently be using. But by the time those poles hatch, you'll have grass that's knee high, new growth of grass. So. This is what we're talking about, really good structural habitat for quail and turkey to nest in. Um, this has been Cole Hamilton, Hamilton Native Outpost. I hope you enjoyed this video.